She's the senshi of love. <laughs> All right. Uh... Operator, did you hear that? It said... Cosmic background radiation is a riot. Oops. Where is it? Ah, here we are. Oh, yes, there we go. Alright. So I'm about to show you how crazy some of the missions can actually get. I'm guessing it's loading. I'm selecting them. Okay. <laughs> this will work. Oh, okay. I guess it wasn't. Horizon Zero Dawn? What's that? That's another game. Eh. There's like so many games that people want to recommend to me. Yeah, there's a lot. I'm only like, I'm, I'm staying categorical for my highlight reels, so I'm just like, well, I know there's a lot of these games, but it's like a time and place for all of them. I'm still trying to figure all that out. Yeah. Oh, we'll just go to set now. It's fine. Oh, voting on mission. There we go. Okay. Seven, six, five. Who's Angel Dust? Who's Big Brood? Those are randoms. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so basically, whenever you pick a mission node and you don't have a full squad, the game will try to fill in randoms that are also picking the same mission node. The enemy is at All right, Augusta. so, uh, you must yeah, you remember those guys from earlier that were uh, really beating the shit out of you? Yeah, this mission is full of them, but uh, guess what? You're going to level up super fucking fast. I expect so. Oh, uh, we have a wave. Fun. Yeah, this is a wave defense mission. Ooh, I can actually, like, combine the controls here. What you mean? Um, as I'm holding the uh, aiming button, I can use the mouse to, uh, like move the crosshairs. Hmm. Which is an interesting combination there. Kind of that's, uh, that's a unique way of going about it. Yeah, because using the, uh, the using the crosshairs is just... Oh, god damn it. Yeah, nothing's getting past that until I enter the... Oh, it's already too late. So this is kind of like, I'm guessing this is kind of like Horde, if you remember Gears of War. More or less. This is a defense mission, so the big cryopod in the center is what we're defending. Okay, so I'm getting like, okay, I'm getting vibes of, um, what is it, uh, 
TF2 versus the machines or something like that? Nah, kind of. It is technically classified as a defense mission, but really this is the mission everybody uses to farm experience. Huh, okay. And like, yeah, after seeing it for myself, I understand why, oh. because Jesus Christ. I guess somebody's gonna have to stay at the core in case anybody, like, comes in. Yeah, I think that's eh, a... a little bit. Like, like I said, this is mainly the mission that everybody uses to level up weapons and warframes and shit like that. Bang. Yeah, the build that I have currently has, like, insane ability range. So I can clear out, like, a good 50% of the room just from being in the center. Which is very funny. Yeah, so if you look at the, uh, the mini-map on the top left, you can see that they are slowly starting to enclose upon us. Now, I want you to pay very close attention. And they're gone. Wow. Alright then. I guess there was nothing to pay attention to. Some of it's coming from behind. Shit. Yeah, like, the speed is one reason that I like Gauss, but he actually has, like, insane, like, fucking damage and survivability on top of that. Holy shit, that one was huge. Pistol proficiency. Uh, you're still alive? Let's let's fix that. Get the fuck over here, you piece of shit. Dude, it's not doing shit. What the hell? The what? Oh, there was an enemy who wasn't taking damage at all. May uh, wait, I think that was a player. Whoops. Not there, okay. They might have a Necros. No. Yeah, just keep pressing buttons. It's also entirely possible the reason it wasn't doing much is because they're out leveling you and you don't really have that much in the way of mods. But Maybe. that's okay. Extraction oh, ready. it's done. Unless okay then. The yeah, if you click the right, it'll extend for another five rounds. Everybody typically does like ten because that's like the most efficient method. Huh, okay. Continue to defend. Okay, one of the we'll guys will leave him, but that's right okay. Right. We can handle five more waves. With one less guy. Oh, d nope, I don't think so. Thermal thunder go burr. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, the only real downside to this build is that my abilities don't last quite as long as they do on my other ones, but given that they cover like a good 50% of the room, it's a pretty alright trade-off. Alright. Wave 7. Okay, and I gotta not move my mouse like that. Sorry, chat. I'm also pretty sure they recently buffed uh, cold procs. 
so if you freeze an enemy, critical damage gets like boosted by 50% or some shit like that. Which is pretty nice. Oh yeah, we haven't even gotten into like properly modding shit yet, but <laughs> that's okay. That, that'll be for another time because that'll... Things what? will get very complicated very quickly. What's a game without modding? No, what's an Arsenal game without modding? This is like one of the things that I really like about this compared to like other MMO RPG type games. Mm -hmm. Where it's like you basically have complete control over what your loadout is, what it does, and what it's about. Because like in a lot of other games you can get like the same weapon, but it'll have like different stats or different perks or shit like that. So even if you get grind to get the same weapon that like everybody else uses, if it has a shit stat roll, then like you you basically just wasted your time trying to get it because the stats just aren't good. Here the stats are all the same and it's basically deterministic of how you mod it, which make determines how good it actually is. Where's the other one? These guys definitely take a lot of punishment, Jesus Christ. Yeah, they're level 30. Now well, that does explain everything. Yeah, trust me, eventually you get to a point where level 30 is like nothing. Alright, makes sense. Ah! Gotta not hit my mouse again. Sorry again, chat. Oh shit! Oh, hello. Whoa, what the fuck is... Whoa, what the fuck happened? What you mean? The statuses were all, like, my gauges were just, like, flickering like shit. Oh, yeah, you got hit with a magnetic proc. Oh, we got some more company. Yeah, this is the last wave before we get the option to leave again. You know, after all this time playing this game, I still don't have a Kavod. should probably think about fucking getting one at some point. Jesus. Dead. Where are they coming from? I see them on the radar, but they're not showing up. Are they, like, a level below us? Yeah. Shit. Alright. Where are they coming from? There we go. All right, now we can leave. Yeah, we're, yeah, the other guys leaving too. Yeah, so just click on the left picture. Left picture. All right. Yeah. And that basically, yeah. So left is if you want to leave, and then right is if you want to stay for another five rounds. Okay. So the good news is that should have gotten you like a shit ton of different mods. Yep. So you should be able to tweak how you kit yourself out. Alright. So yeah, you can go to the back and see the, the arsenal and uh, see, what, see what you can change around. Alright, let's take a look. I think you got Shocking Touch, which is like 
an electric one, and you can put that like on your sword. All right. Uh, let's see. Equilibrium, mobilize, lightning rod. Oh, equilibrium, yo, fucking really? Damn, that one's really good, actually. All right, sure. Yeah, so Equilibrium, what that one does is basically whenever you pick up health, it'll give you energy, and whenever you pick up energy, it'll give you health. And it doesn't, like, inverse them, it gives you both. Which is, like, a fucking super useful one. Like, I sh that, that's actually really fucking insane, luck, all things considered, because okay. in all my fucking years of playing, I straight up have never gotten that one. Huh. From this mission, right. I I had to I had to trade another player to get it. All right. Uh, uh, so the other ones are enemy sands, steel fiber, flow, lightning rod, vitality. Yeah, definitely slot in flow because that gives you more total energy. All right. Ordis is half angry. Hmm. I may require maintenance after all. Oh, okay. Uh, intensifies pretty good. Yeah. All right, and now you're you've got it. You've got your capacity maxed out. All right. Now, if you hit back uh -huh. and you go over your weapons, you can also mod your weapons. Well, no, go back to the arsenal. Oh, okay. There we go. Alright. Yeah, now look at all... Yeah, now hit upgrade. Saddle up. Now you have... Yeah, you can mod your weapon too. Alright, cool. Fast hands, Bane of Corpus, uh, Point Strike, Serration, Speed Trigger, Magazine Warp, Bane of Grenier. Uh, yeah, Serration and Point Strike are definitely ones you probably want to look into. Because Serration just gives you straight up more damage, and then Point Strike increases your critical chance, I believe. Point Strike. Oh, there it is. Alright. That's yeah, 25%. That's nice. Speed Trigger upgrades your rate of fire. Fast Hands, I believe, increases reload speed, and Magazine Warp gives you more Total ammo or more magazine size. Being perfectly honest, you kind of don't need magazine warp because the baton already has mm -hmm. pretty high magazine capacity. It holds like 45 rounds. Bane of Corpus, Bane of Grenier, and... Yeah, so those are faction mods, and basically they do what they say on the tin. You, uh, if you put on Bane of Grenier, you do more damage to Grenier. If you put on Bane of Corpus, you, you do, do more, more damage, damage to Corpus. Corpus. Alright. Four and four. I mean, I think there's enough room for both. Yeah. Alright. Mm, and now, yeah, do the same with the rest of your weapons. This also includes your Exalted Blade, because that counts as its own separate weapon. It didn't used to, by the way. Hmm. It, it used to just be an ability, but now it counts as, like, its own weapon. Alright. Oh, wow. 56. So, let's see. 4 age. So, that's 16, 20. So, basically 26. That's not even half of what this is on the capacity, so I could just equip all of this. Yeah. Wait. There we go. There you go. Uh, no, 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 no. Alrighty then. Uh, try the Skana here. Oh, Skana? Alright. So, 28. Let's see. Yes, yeah, shocking touch. Yeah, so that, that'll put electricity on it. Alright, so 22. Let's see. Four, four, four. So, I have 20 left. One of them will have to leave out. 
Fury, Pressure Point, True Steel, Reach, Organ Shatter. Uh, which one's True? I think True Steel is like it gives you increased critical chance. Reach. Uh, you could honestly probably live without Reach out of all of them. All right, so I suppose the other ones could just be equipped here for now. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I was thinking that. No. Reach. There we go. And pressure point. Alright then. No, you can put true steel on. You still have plenty. Oh. Oh, I guess I miscounted. And then, yeah, do the same with the Lido. Oh, that. that no. That, there we go. Okay. 25. And there's, let's see, 6 and 6. That's 12. Ooh, okay. So this will this is actually pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. So take convulsion, uh -huh. put it on there, and then put heated charge on there. All right. Now look to the left, or right under slash. Oh, to the right under slash. To the, to the left. It's a quick draw slip magazine. The big box that shows all the stats. Oh, the stats. Okay. Now look under slash. Slash is 20. Yeah, now look under it. Radiation, 12. Yeah. So, because you have heat and electricity, those two elements combined into radiation. Oof. So, that's like one of the core principles in this game. There's essentially, there's three primary elements. There's impact, slash, and puncture. There's four secondary elements, that being heat, cold, electricity, and toxin. And then there's six, I believe, tertiary elements, where you combine the uh, secondary elements together to get new ones. And those are... Radiation, gas, blast, magnetic, corrosion, and viral. All right. So radiation, what it'll do is if it procs, it'll basically confuse enemies, and those enemies might end up fighting each other as a result. All right. Uh, viral's kind of just the best one straight up, because viral, whenever the, that procs, it increases the damage from other sources so it just straight up gives you more damage for crocking it uh corrosion is very good against armor magnetic is very good against shield blast is kind of not that good all it really does is knock them down i mean it has its uses but it's out of all the tertiary ones it's kind of the weakest oh uh, and gas is like aoe I'm guessing these are just different, like, configure... Ah, yeah, that's what they are. All right, so... Yeah, they're, they're like, if you have different loadouts for your weapon and you want to just switch between them quickly. That's, that's what I have on my Gauss. I have, like, three different setups for them. Like, one for a lot of ability range, which is the one that I was just using in the mission we were in. Uh, one that's all focused on speed, which is what I was using on the planes. And then I have one that's, like, focused on duration, so my abilities can go for, like, a super long time. All right. So, let's see. I guess I guess these two are just all, we, uh, all I need on this one. No, you can fit more on there, so you might as well. I think you can actually just fit the rest of them on there. Uh, no. You can, no. Um, you, you can fit, like, half of them. The remaining ones on there. Um, Hornet Strike, you're definitely going to want because that's just more damage and more damage is always good. Uh huh. Uh, Perpetual Agony is probably pretty good because that increases your status duration, so if you proc radiation, it'll just last for longer. Alright then. Uh, and, and I guess. Quick. Either Trick Mag or Slip Magazine. Either. Oh, actually, yeah, you. 
Trick Mag or Quick Draw. Um, yeah, I guess Trick Mag because the reload time on the later is not really that bad to begin with. All right. But yeah, now because those are kitted out, they'll be more useful in higher tier content. Also, uh, because the sword is electric, that does increased damage against shields and more damage against robotics. Well, then. So it's going to be really good against Corpus. I'm ready to try these out in like um, another round of whatever it was that we just did.